Beyonce is worth more than 500 million and has sold over 100 million records and has 32 Grammys and still forgave Jay-Z when he cheated. But you, with the two panties and two bras, won't let it rest. Hmm? Hmm? I'm just asking. I ain't buying. I ain't buying. I'm just asking. My grandpa and my grandma on my mom's side, they made a pact, yeah, that whoever dies first, the other person has to follow straight after so that they can go together. But we didn't know this, yeah? So then my grandma, she passed away. And it was really sad. And then my grandpa, the same day, yeah, well, in the morning, all of a sudden, everyone was chilling. Tell me why this 80-something-year-old started speeding, running into the wall so he can crash into the wall and die and follow my grandma. <laughs> Transparency. How much do you weigh if you don't mind? Uh, I don't care. I weigh like 565. Really? Oh, what? Yeah. Man, look at man. Hell no. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm active. So <laughs> no, yeah, I can do a lot. No, you no, I, 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 Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? I too was once a man trapped in a woman's body. Then I was born. Buying two airplane seats don't fix my problem. Airplanes are too small for big people. It's 2024. Bodies are changing. So planes should too. I won't lose my to fit on a plane. So give me another solution or just make the seats. We do not care. Why should someone date you? Because I am kind and caring and considerate. Okay. And I will put your needs first. Okay, what about you? No one should date me. I'm evil. What the hell? All right, what about you? Um, because I'm pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'm funny, I'm smart, and I'm sexy. Your craziest confession. She and my boyfriend three times. Okay, why? Uh, because he's a d <laughs> I'm still in love with my ex-boyfriend, and I have a new boyfriend. I beg your pardon. Oh. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> about to go see him. Guys, listen up. This is the perfect time to remain single. The vast majority of modern independent single women will not compliment your lifestyle, add value, or give you peace. They are looking for somebody to fund their lifestyle. This is the perfect time to focus on your goals, ambitions, fitness, and mental health. These things won't leave you. Women will. That girl who broke your heart or cheated on you, just ignore her. You're on your ascent. She is likely on her descent. She likely has no intention of improving herself, no intention of becoming richer, no intention of becoming better looking. Time is against her. You're going to continue your ascent and she's going to have to watch you for the rest of her life. Be the man that she could have been with that she's no longer good enough for. And it's the same with also men. There's men who want to be your friends right now who wanted to be your friend and they did something wrong to you. And if you're on the right path doing the right things, karma, God, the universe is going to teach them a lesson for simply failing to be a good person to you while they had the chance. Yo, it's cute, it's cute. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's true. If I was your man... Oh, we're going back to that? What would I need to do for you? Treat me how you would want to be treated. So give you the same things I expect you to give me? Yeah. And then just go like a little bit above and beyond, because I'm a romantic. <laughs> Does that mean that if I take you out to dinner, and pay for you this time, I should expect you to pay for me the next? No, you should always pay for me. I also do believe in gender roles. <laughs> treat others how you want to be treated. I treat everybody with kindness. I'm a really nice person, so if you do something wrong, and I don't like you, you should really question why I don't like you. So I like everybody. And how do you take care of your man? By rubbing his feet, giving him massages, making sure that everything is clean, he's well fed, all the basic things that he shouldn't have to think about. And then he takes care of me. Well, theoretically. I am currently still single.
Women think they're so special and unique. Y'all don't realize you guys are more alike than you are different and you guys are everywhere. But the type of so guy you want is not. So if you think you're about to come up to this guy who has an option at a hundred of you and say, I need no, this, this, and this. There's not a hundred of you because value. I'm doing things for myself that no one else is doing for their self. How would you I'm know saying that? because I work on myself so hard that I know that no one next to me is in competition with me. But at the end of the day, the things a man wants out of a woman, he can get that out of another woman. No. Uh, yeah, you can, but, but I'm the saying- the things you want out of a man, that type of man is very rare. And you're not going to come to him making demands because I can replace you. If I have 10 women here saying, I'm willing to do anything you want, and, and the one out of the 10 is coming with a piece of paper that says, hey, we doing this, this, and this. Or if you fuck up, I'm taking I'm taking your money and no. you paying me for fucking no, up. No, I'm not coming with a demand. You're out of here. I'm Men control marriage. So mm -hmm. you don't get to make a demand. You have to be the woman he wants to marry. You're using the wrong word. You're saying demand. Get married. I, uh, I strung a green extension cord around some rafters in my set. You know, that's like there's no roof. It's sort of fly walls and stuff. And, um, and I hung myself. And you hung yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still hard to think about the fact that like I would do something like that to myself, especially with kids. But I, I, I now understand what it's like when people are like, I don't understand why they would kill themselves. And I'm like, I can tell you from experience, they thought they were giving the world a gift. That is the saddest lie that we could tell ourselves. But Jeez, I man. thought that I was doing my family and my community a favor because I, I was such a mess mentally. Like I, and nobody ever tells you that like, when you get to the top, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's just more of that. If you want it, you know, I had ground and scraped and fought to make movies and to make the things that I wanted to make and to sell books and sell scripts. And I was doing all those things. And then I get there and I'm like a broken shell of myself with this relationship that threatened to sort of like truly like wreck my life. And I had done nothing to deserve that. And uh, you know, I'm like, what, what is life? Like what, you know, I'm so backwards. Uh, right, you thought everything that was going to make you happy didn't. Yes. Everything you wanted to do, you yes. were doing, but you still weren't happy. You're goddamn right.